Hey, I'm kind of surprised you wanted to meet me at Jason's. Well, I mean, what's the point of sneaking around trying to hide when you did exactly what I asked you not to do? Mm. Aren't PI supposed to be bound by some kind of confidentiality agreement? Yes, I, and I'm sorry, Michael. You told Jason that I was starting to remember things. I didn't tell him any specifics. I just said that you were having memory flashes and you wanted me to help you sort them out. That's it. Look, you know Jason just as well as I do. If Jerry or Claudia said they were involved in my shooting, I mean, what do you think is going to happen? Jason is going to go after that person and he will kill them. And it's going to be my fault. No, I wish I just hadn't remembered listen, anything. Listen, no, it's not going to be your fault. First of all, what Jason does is on him. That is not on you. And second, if you have these memory flashes coming to you, you have got to try and make sense of them. I'm not sure I even want to. <sighs> listen, Michael, this is what I'm trying to tell you. You can't control it. I was trying to protect my brother. Not that that excuses what I did. You had a memory flash, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Well, was it about something Claudia said? You don't want to stick around for this, Claudia, because there's going to be a lot of things you don't want to hear. Well, you're dealing with my father the only way a rational person would. By going after what he loves. That's the only way. And I'm going to back you 100%. to me because you wanted to know if these memories you were having are real but i can't help you unless you're honest with me about them well, i mean i i remember that claudia kept apologizing but i don't know why you know it's she probably just felt sorry like everyone else because i got shot i don't know i think it's a little strange that claudia zakara would come into your room while you're in a coma i i just don't feel like she's the compassionate type and you, you think that claudia was sorry because she felt guilty? I mean, why didn't you just say it? You totally buy that Claudia could be responsible for my shooting. Look, what my father did this week, going after you like he did, that was a big mistake. He needs to be stopped. And you're smart enough to know that threatening me is not going to get you anywhere. So, use my brother. Use what works. And, and you're okay with that? Well, you know how much I love my brother. But I also know how this game is played. My father pushed you. You have to push back. I'm sorry your father had to take it to this point. No, I understand. And I know how to separate business from personal. My father needs to be stopped. For that to happen, he has to believe that John's life is truly in danger. And whatever you have to do, I understand that it's for the good of everyone. about anything, Michael. It's too risky to decide in advance what your memories mean or where they're going to lead you. I thought you could give me answers. I am trying to. But listen to me. I need your help for that, okay? How can I do this? Okay, um, all right. Let's say that you're the PI and someone came to you with this case. A good PI needs to maintain objectivity. You, you can only prove or disprove anything based on the facts that you have, okay? All right, so... Let's say that your client came to you and says that they remember a woman visiting them while they're in a coma. And the woman seemed to have said something about being sorry about something and you don't know what. As a PI, what does that mean? That she had done something to be sorry for. Or that she just felt bad for this guy in a coma. So you don't? believe that Claudia had anything to do with being No, I am not saying that. I am saying that you need to stay objective. We are not sure what any of this means. Yet. Were you waiting to see me? Well, I don't want to get you involved, but Sam didn't give me a choice. Because she knows that I want to, I want to help you. How? The, by gunning for people based on memories that okay, I'm not even I'm sure about? Hold on, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Okay? I swear. I just... But you want the people who shot me to pay, right? Yes, I do. And you think that I'm going to remember who's guilty? Look, I, I am, I'm not going to do anything that you don't want me to do. Okay? So you can, you can tell me what you remember, or you know what? You don't, you don't have to tell me what you remember. It's up to you. But you do not have to worry that I'm going to act on it. That's a promise. I know how much... 
gonna go get some water. You know, there was a time that you could tell me anything. Man, I just wish I hadn't remembered. It's like I obsess over this stuff and it just gets in my way. I, I know that you're, you're, you're so sick and tired of hearing this, but I mean, that is the healing process. And I can tell that you're getting better. I'm getting better at hiding how I feel. I feel like I'm trapped in my own head. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like this is worse than being in a coma. No, it's, it's not. <sighs> well, I mean, after your accident, didn't do you ever just want to get rid of all that stuff in your head? Yeah, I did all the time. I mean, there's sometimes I still do. <laughs> how do you handle it? Everyone kind of has to figure out their own thing that works. Yeah, but to get out of your own head, you just do something dangerous. And you don't want me following your lead. It's like you think I'm made of glass or something. Like if you don't protect me, I might break. I guess that's how it works. When you love someone from the minute they were born, you never stop wanting to take care of them. I'm not a baby anymore, Jason. I haven't been for a long time. I know that. I know. And if there was some magic cure, I would tell you. I mean, I would be the first to tell you. But unfortunately, you have to find your own way, Michael. And it's not easy. But I know that you can do it. Well, thanks. I think. You can tell Sam to come back now. It didn't take a lot. Michael was pretty hard on you. It's okay. He just needs an answer that I can't give him. What kind of answer? Just how to get out of his head and stop thinking and how to start living again. <laughs> okay, I see. What you're trying to say is that you couldn't tell him that you used to like to ride your motorcycle to, to the edge of the cliff and you'd stop right before you went off. Or about your train surfing, <laughs> balancing on bridges. I couldn't stand it if Michael got hurt doing something crazy just because that's what I did. Still do. Still do. Don't tell him what. Yeah, you like to live dangerously because it makes you feel alive. There's nothing wrong with that. What about you? You're the same way. 